Hey everybody, I'm Sam Haymart and you're watching TDTV Garage. This week we are testing the 2025 Subaru Forester Hybrid, the all new hybrid powertrain, second generation powertrain available in an expanding array of models. So we're gonna pop the hood and have a look at everything underneath. While Subaru has offered a hybrid powertrain in North America in the past, make no mistake in thinking that this is the same old thing. Also, make no mistake in thinking that because partner company Toyota had a hand in its engineering and development, that this hybrid system is an off-the-shelf powertrain from a RAV4 or something else. This new second-generation hybrid powertrain is all Subaru. Under the hood is a tried-and-true 2.5-liter horizontally opposed boxer four-cylinder engine. It uses the Atkinson cycle of combustion, which is a leaner and more efficient timing scenario better suited for hybrid duty. It's connected up to an all-new longitudinally mounted ECVT, a two-motor hybrid transmission that can operate in both parallel and serial modes. With no relation to the standard Subaru CVT, this transmission features the same design operating format that Toyota made famous with a planetary gear set and an orchestrated symphony of the gasoline engine, a powerful traction motor, and a motor generator to make it all work smoothly. The engine itself offers 162 horsepower and 154 pound-feet of torque. The traction motor has 118 horsepower and 199 pound-feet of torque. Together, the total system output is 194 horsepower. An air-cooled 1.1 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery pack resides under the rear cargo floor in the back where the spare tire once was. In the Forester Hybrid we tested, the system is rated at 35 miles per gallon city, 34 highway, and 35 miles per gallon combined, and it has a maximum tow rating of 1,500 pounds. Subaru loyalists will be happy to know that the mechanical all-wheel drive system remains with the drive shaft to the rear axle. This provides superior articulation and traction management over other systems that lose the drive shaft for a separate electric motor at the rear axle, like that Toyota RAV4. A full suite of X-Mode driving and traction software toys are provided to match a variety of off-road and slippery scenarios. A look around the engine bay shows a setup nearly identical to that of the standard gasoline Forester. The big differences are the large hybrid power control unit mounted atop of the engine and a substantial orange high-voltage wiring harness connected to it. Furthermore, the AC compressor is not belt-driven, but powered by the high-voltage battery so that the cold air continues to flow even with the gasoline engine turned off. DIY maintenance for the Subaru Forester Hybrid is as simple as its standard gasoline counterparts. Its air filter is located at the passenger side front of the engine bay and is easy to get to without tools. Its oil check dipstick is located at the front of the engine, easily seen with its bright yellow handle. The oil filler cap and the oil filter both can be accessed at the top driver's side of the engine. Bonus! Engine coolant can be found at its reservoir, just located ahead of that on the front driver's side, clearly marked. Brake fluid is found at the expected location at the driver's side firewall, the reservoir sitting atop of an electronically controlled brake unit. The main consumer grade fuse box is located just ahead of it with a fuse removal tool included inside. And lastly, the 12 volt battery and windshield washer fluid is easily seen and accessed at the front driver's side of the engine bay. All right, my friends, there you have it for our underhood tour of the all-new powertrain in the 2025 Subaru Forester Hybrid. Now, it's worth pointing out that this same powertrain will be offered in the Crosstrek come this fall and will be virtually identical under the hood. The layout of some of the ancillary accessories and things like that might be a little bit different, but the engine, the transmission, and how it works will be identical. The specs will be virtually identical identical. Now, we do have a test drive of this car, so if you want to hear more about how it drives, what's it like, you can see that right there on our partner channel, Test Driven TV. But if you like the nuts and bolts stuff, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there.